Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. So today we are continuing the SAP S4HANA classes. Okay, so we have seen the or we have created the business partner in S4HANA. So now we have created the material master. One material master we have created, one material we have created and one vendor or one uh, let's say supplier or business partner we have created in SAP S4 HANA you have to create like multiple things you can create you can create um, like multiple materials multiple uh, let's say plants multiple business partners you have to create it okay so that's your homework or I can say that is your task you can create it so next part after creation of your uh, let's say uh, these are the master data of SAP MM Okay, so we have created the material and we have created the business partner. Now, once you are having the material and business partner, next you have to create a source list. So what is a source list? So source list is basically, it is, we, we can say these are the potential sources of supply. Okay, let's say I am purchasing, um, let's, let's take a general example. Let's say I need uh, some milk packet where i can buy okay who are the potential sources so let's say i can buy it from the online app there is a let's say big basket is there let's say there are other um, online companies are there who are providing door to door the milk items or i can go to let's say uh, go to a mother dairy store from there i can purchase some milk right or i can go to let's say any any kind of uh, let's say um, uh, there is Reliance Smart is there or let's say any kind of supermarket is there. I can go there and I can purchase it or I can purchase it online. Okay, online also they are having they are having their app. So from their app I can purchase. So these are list of the sources from where I can purchase the milk or let's say the dairy items where I can buy it from. So for that one I need to have a list of those sources right so similarly in the business also i need to have the sources or i need to know the sources from which i can buy my required materials let's say i need to purchase coal from anyone so that is in india it is coal india from coal india i have to purchase or buy the coals right if you are purchasing the coals from outside of the country also it will come through the coal india itself okay that is a let's say it is the only source for coal buying okay so similarly you need to know or you as a business you need to know what are the sources are available so source list we are creating for that purpose only okay it is the uh, let's say it is the minimum thing in the sap mm we have to create a source list so what is the source list is useful or why uh, or where we can use it source list so source list is basically useful to determine a source let's say you are going to uh, you are creating a purchase requisition in the coming classes we will be um, uh, we will be discussing about the purchase requisition when we will be going inside the P2P cycle. But those people who are already trained in SAP, let's say ECC version, or they have already uh, anywhere, either from our channel or from any other channel, or let's say they are uh, they have learned from any institutions or anywhere, you are learned on the SAP MM ECC side. Okay, if you have known the process so you might be knowing so when we are creating a purchase requisition or whenever we are having a demand for the product there is a in the sap pr creation there is a source determination is there okay so if you click on the source determination system will find out what are the available sources are there okay based on the source uh, so there are other um, um, uh, let's say uh, other fields are also there from which or other uh, let's say master data are also there from which we can uh, may, uh, we can create a source or we can maintain a source let's say this is the primary thing okay source list is the primary thing after that we can go for info record we can go for quota management record we can go for contract or anything but this is the uh, I can say or we can say this is a 
primary thing where you can maintain the sources okay so from these sources you can let's say you can create a regular vendor you can create a fixed vendor you can create a let's say info record from that one okay you can create let's say any kind of um, contract from that one okay from those sources you can create contract so these are some of the process we will be going one by one we will be going inside those things okay so this is all about our source list so how we can create the source list so who are already into the sap ecc they have worked in the ecc or they learned ecc they know we can create it through the t code is me01 okay here you can see uh, the t code is me01 in me01 you can create the info record okay so in s4 hana also we can use this t code me01 to create or we can create it through the fury apps okay so as you all of you know that there is fury apps has been introduced to the s4 hana so now you can use the fury apps to create the source list so how we can create or how we can uh, where we can create so there will be one fury app managed source list will be there from there you can create a source list so right now we are not going into the fury apps right now we are looking into the subjective part of it fury apps we will take three to four classes i believe it will take three to four classes we will go through each and every fury apps what are available over there how you can create uh, like um, different different things how we can create in the s4 hana so we will be covering those classes also okay but that will be um, a separate part of a fury apps classes okay so in that we we can see that one so right now we can see with respect to gui or in the gui we can create a source list so it is a very simple thing so if we go to the sap system so here let's say we will go to so this is basically the t code for here you can come to the source list here you can create a source list okay so here i have taken the material this uh, material we have created for this plant we can create a source list so here you can maintain the valid from date okay just take a valid from date here let's say from today's date we can take valid to date just take any kind of date as per your requirement you can take the date so vendor you can take any vendors okay which you have created for this plant and with respect to any purchase organization with we have created so that vendor you can take it here okay so any vendor we can see let's say for india we can see this vendor just take this one purchase organization check for anything okay so here you can take a vendor and you can take a purchase organization uh, so vendor and purchase organization you have already created right so now next one is here you can see uh, order unit okay in which unit you want to order to this vendor or in which unit you can order to this vendor okay so you can take that ordering unit let's say any kind of specific order unit is there you can take it from there next one is here you can see there is a fix indicator is there okay if you click on fix it will fix the vendor okay you can procure this material for this plant and this purchase organization combination from this vendor only okay so if you are creating it as a fix so here also you can take uh, let's say for this validity period for different vendor with different purchase organization combination you can create okay or with different uh, let's say validity period also you can create different different vendors with the same purchasing organization okay so let's say i will create a next vendor for the same purchase organization with some other validity date if same validity date if uh, if we create two three vendors over here so it will create a confusion which vendor to take if you are selecting the fixed vendor over here otherwise you can maintain a number of vendors and purchasing organization combination you can take it you can have a different types of vendor there is no issue to that one you just have to enter all of the vendors that are available to provide you this material from which vendors you can 
procure this material all of the vendors which is available you can maintain it over here okay so this is basically the source list so if you save it it will save but i believe there will be some error with the vendor and purchase organization combination so it will not allow us so let's just see see it is um, for this plant it is not responsible for this purchasing organization so there are some issues to that one you can try to create your vendor and um, if you have created your vendor and other um, um, organization entities or master data you have already created try to create this source list also okay so this is the first thing where you can create a source list okay so we are not um, proceeding further first I need to check this vendor and purchase organization need to fix this one then we can move it move to the next class that is your purchase info record okay next we will be looking into the purchase info record or normally we call it as an info record so that we can see in the next class so first I need to fix this vendor uh, uh, thing okay first let me fix that one then we can move to the next session okay so that's all for today if you have any question please ask in the comment section or if you have joined the group then you can ask in the group also there are many people are there who are learning who are uh, assisting who are already helping others so they can help you so if you want to join you can join the group okay so that's it for today we will meet up again on next class till then bye bye and take care